Hey guys, it's Noob. Uh, today I have another video for you guys, and uh, this time it's going to be on a project that I'll have ongoing for a while. Hopefully I finish. And uh, that'll be, uh, I guess, my Pokemon team, and you'll be seeing the Pokemon trainer. Uh, if you didn't get that from <laughs> the thumbnail, but yeah. Um, before we get started, I just want to uh, talk about one thing, and that's that uh, right now, this is going to be a regular segment where I introduce, you know, stuff that I'll be talking about and, you know, talk about some of the, I guess, stuff that I did during it, but like in a broader scale. Uh, but one thing I did want to point out is that, um, uh, it's going to take a while to actually get down <laughs> the way I want to handle it. But yeah, uh, definitely look out for uh, changes because I will be making them. On top of that, I didn't really have time to make up all the assets because I was going to do a bunch of poses for the character you're probably screening on, on here right now, but... Uh, you know, it, it took a while, because the idea was that I'll make a couple poses and change the expressions, but I didn't want to keep them uh, too many of the same looking idols, so I wanted to be a bit more expressive, but I didn't get around to that, because it was pretty lengthy, and honestly, I was procrastinating, so I didn't get a lot of it done, but uh, I think I'll just do that over time and build up my, uh, I guess... Uh, my poses as I go on so I can throw them in here uh, and also I might actually redesign them. <laughs> uh, I had plans to so uh, he may change entirely which means I might have to scrap it. We'll see. Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alrighty, so uh, just want to uh, bring this up. I completely forgot to actually start recording so, you may notice here that uh, I start from, like, I guess, a pose. And I have a lot of trouble with it, honestly. Um, you'll see uh, right now, and probably even a little later, I was figuring out the posing, and, you know, sometimes it happens where, like, my brain just doesn't want to do the thing. <laughs> I think it's pretty common with artists, but, like, uh, I, I change the poses, I change, uh, actually, if I remember right, uh, this wasn't even the first sketch. I deleted the first sketch, and I kind of like this one more. But, yeah, um, it, it was pretty interesting working on this, because uh, I did have reference, but uh, I didn't really know if I wanted to go with the Pokemon style or my style. I ended up going more my style, which, honestly, <laughs> it's not too bad for, I guess... I, I think it suits the look of Pokemon. Like, uh, I made my Mega Cinderace, and I was just like, damn, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm planning to remake that Mega Cinderace, so uh, you'll have a video on that, hopefully, eventually. Uh, another thing is that, uh, aside from Mega Cinderace, I have a couple other ones I want to do. Jolteon, uh, Shinx... And maybe Pangora, we'll see. Uh, I'm thinking... I don't know. Uh, I, I haven't actually thought of all of them. I have I mean, I do have a list of, like, more than six Pokemon I want to do. But most of them are going to be custom, just like the Mega Cinderace. Um, but yeah, uh, this, uh, this sketch was... Uh, really, <laughs> like, I, I ended up flipping it and stuff uh, a lot just to make sure I was, it, it looked right, because uh, for a while it just didn't want to work, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it just, my brain did not want to actually uh, work there, so eventually I did get something, and uh, I want to talk about the things that I actually drew in, but the thing is, I don't know when they happen. So, like, you know, uh, I guess I'll talk about the outfit I chose. Um, yeah, I gave him blue hair and green eyes, because that's kind of what I had in an older OC. Uh, well, before I was known as Noob, or Noobie Band, or whatever, uh, I was known as Noob Man Hero, and I had an OC who's, uh, who had blue hair and green eyes, 
And yeah, I kind of stuck with that. Uh, then I decided to go for this jacket. I give almost all of my characters a jacket. Or a lot of the characters I do. I just, I don't know, there's something about jackets. Uh, or hoodies, in this case. Uh, uh, hoodies are pretty nice. Uh, and uh, I just like drawing them, so that's what I gave them. Uh, as for the pants, I didn't really know what I was going to do for them. Uh, I ended up doing this, uh, I guess, big, uh, I guess, uh, they're not really, I guess they could be sweatpants, yeah? Uh, I didn't really decide, so they're like a mix of, they have like a navy blue as if they were jeans, but they're not. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, in the original sketch, you'll see that, uh, there is no belt and there is no bag, but I include those later. So uh, when you get to see the finished product, uh, there is a belt. And also, uh, as for the undershirt, originally going to make it white, but instead of relying too much on black and white, I, I was actually going to use a lot more black and white. I decided to go for a cream color. Uh, and since I knew I was going for uh, the usual green I used for my panda scarf, I was just like, I'll use a similar color to his, I guess, fur. So, yeah, uh, that's why I chose the shirt. And uh, I think the colors worked well. It was blue, green, and I guess that's, I want to say khaki. Blue, green, khaki, <laughs> for the most part. And there's this light greenish blue color going on on the shoe. Oh no, that's the same. Uh, that's the same color as the scarf. Uh, the eyes are the only green that are different. So yeah, uh, I try to stay minimal color as usual, and uh, it worked out. Uh, the gold uh, that uh, well, I guess I used to go with gold color. You probably won't see it. Uh, but yeah, um, the gold went onto the belt and onto, uh, I guess, the lock for the bag, and <laughs> you won't be seeing that, so I, oh man, you'll be seeing it at the end, <laughs> but yikes, uh, anyways, uh, if I find, uh, I'm hoping I've drawn this in now so you can see it in context, but, uh, I drew in the, I guess, the Pokeball, and I didn't really decide what kind of Pokeball I wanted to till the end, so that's another thing you won't be seeing. Uh, but yeah, I chose uh, an Ultra Ball, which was a bit weird to draw, but then I was just like, oh, you kind of make it like a regular Ultra Ball, and it came out relatively fine, so yeah. Um, uh, the pose was actually something interesting. I think you'll, uh, I think you see it in, uh, oh yeah, you definitely see it. I, when I was recording, I was debating whether to just, like, you know, keep working on it off of recording, but I just kept it in. Uh, uh I ended up switching the hands, uh, well, the one holding the Pokeball, because I was going to do it on the other hand, but, uh. Yeah, uh, it, it worked out better if I did it uh, uh, with the left hand. Uh, as Speaking of which, I'm actually a lefty, so I guess that makes sense now that I think about it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, uh, the shoes, uh, making the shoes was interesting because uh, I'm not good at shoes. And you know, I, I actually liked the ones from the previous uh, episode. I made Knuckles some boots, and I was actually pretty happy with those. And I'm actually pretty happy with these. I did notice, I did notice a weird thing. Uh, I, it's like I, I don't know what you call that thing, but the bottom of the shoe I may have messed that up on the one on the right. I want to say. Uh, again, I can't see the picture, but I wish I could. Um, uh, yeah, uh, this is pretty much all just the sketch, so uh, I guess I can talk about the line art a bit. Uh, the line art, 
Uh, actually, damn. You know what I should have done? I should have saved a picture. <gasps> I think I did save a picture of the liner. Uh, see, what I was gonna do was I was gonna actually introduce the pictures of the finished process while um, I end up doing this video. So what I might do is I might just actually speed this footage up right here and talk about the line art during that other section. So I'll be done for the section. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so here we are, uh, the liner. Also, if I can zoom this in during the video, I will, but uh, I'm actually not too sure how to do that on DaVinci. Anyways, if I find out, I'll find out. Uh, there's a lot of extra space, like white space, in the canvas itself. Reason why is because I was thinking I would actually use it for something. I didn't know when I was doing it, but yeah. Um, so what I end up doing is that I do the background there. Anyways, uh, the liner. Uh, originally, I was gonna uh, I was gonna do this thing where I do some of the shading with the liner. But I actually didn't do that. Uh, this time what I did is that um, I just uh, kept it clean because uh, I feel like Pokemon art is usually pretty clean. So I just looked at a couple references and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll probably do that. So that's about it, honestly, for the liner. I probably didn't even need to add this in, but then, yeah. And here we are, uh, finally at the end. Uh, recording this has been an experience, because uh, the way I've been doing it is that I've been basically making videos for every cut I do in the voiceover. This is probably like the fourth cut, so it means I have to edit out the video and then... Uh, it's basically an extra step, but... Uh, it's probably the best alternative to letting my mic roar while <laughs> I do the voiceover in uh, DaVinci. Because uh, for some reason, my mic picks up everything and my laptop makes a lot of noise. Anyways, uh, the end, uh, there's a nice background here. I worked really hard on this one, actually. Uh, at first, I mean, it's quite simple, but uh, at first what I was going to do, I was going to probably put up uh, a couple of the, I guess, of my uh, Pokemon lineup, but uh, I was just like, it's probably going to take a while, so uh, I decided to ditch that idea and make a fake game menu, and uh, probably worth noting is that uh, I added, I only added three main icons, the ones that I thought were probably the most important, and then the other ones, at the bottom there's this icon where there's like an R button, a fake R button uh, display where if you uh, press the R button on this fake game, it'll flip it to the other icons. And I made a little representation of that with the white and black boxes. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, one side is uh, the f first uh, few boxes and the, the other one is the second. So. Yeah, uh, I, I feel like I put a little too much work into it, you know, considering not a lot of people are going to see it, but, uh, yeah, I, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, the grid background was just kind of like, I thought about it, and it was just like, uh, black and white had this kind of, uh, thing going on, by the way, it's based on black and white, and, uh, I just wanted to put a grid in the background, so it, with the gradient, uh, there's like a very slight gradient uh, you might be able to notice in the background, and that's how I got it to be that way. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Oh yeah, by the way, I had to hand make uh, the menus, and the menus were a lot of work, uh, but I um, ended up finding uh, icons from the game itself and like, uh, manipulating them. I had to do a bit extra work there, but I cleaned them up, and yeah, uh, after that I layered them and put them in a folder, and uh, oh yeah, 
<laughs> so there was this little mistake I made where I merged the first version of the folder menu icons. And uh, I originally I was going to do this thing because black and white's menus do this thing where like one part is dark and one part is light. I would, ah, uh, yeah, if I can find the image, I'll post it in the video. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I didn't do that because I merged it and I got lazy. So <laughs> yeah, and that's about it. I think we can call it here. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, oh wait. Let's not call it here. I'm not done. <laughs> um, so, last thing. Uh, Pokemon Trainer has an outline. And the original idea was just like, the grid is there and I wanted something to separate it. And the outline looked actually really good. But yeah, uh, I, I really enjoyed making this one. And it was uh, actually, I, I really liked it. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm probably com gonna come back making more pokes. Well, making the pokes for this trainer. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later.